welcome viewers you're watching the oracle television network my name is joyce w charles and this is a toxic show i have a panel right here we have had this talk before concerning sexual immorality in our institutions and we are catching up from there because i think even from the time we spoke to now there are serious cases that have happened things are just happening not in the right way and i want to believe that we have solution for these things it is not god's will that our kids go to school but when they come back home there's something else it is not the will of god that a child can go to you know university or college but their kids there these are all demonic things and i know that God is going to, you know, speak to people out there, even to know how to deal with these things. Parents, just tune in. Let God bless you even as you hear what this panel have to say. Now, if you're watching us on television, make sure you stay right there. Don't change that channel. Those of you watching us online, that is on Facebook, on, uh, you know, Instagram, or your Twitter, or you're possibly on YouTube, make sure you copy that link and send it to somebody they need to hear this you need to send this one if you're a mom to your daughter to your son if you're a father you do the same and the children that you're going to bring bring up that god has given you they are going to be of a different story now let's have the introduction from the far end she's going to introduce herself my name is Cinda Mushiri, and i'm saved i'm from longaichas college and last time we were here and we talked about sexual immorality and we are back here again to, on episode two to discuss more about sexual immorality. Thank you. Welcome. And then we have Reverend. Yes, yes. yes. My name is Reverend John Gatata from Gospel Outreach Church in Salga. And we have come back to speak the word of God concerning sexual immorality. Amen. May God bless you. Awesome. And then we have the young man next to me here. Yes. Welcome to the <coughs> studio. Uh, viewers, wherever you are, I'm Joseph Kelagu um, from Nakuru Teachers Training College. We are here back to come and speak about the topic sexual immorality and we give you the solution to about this demon that is attacking us. Awesome. Thank you very much all for coming. I believe that uh, we carry the answers for our generation. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if this generation will live a righteous life, I believe we are the people to offer these solutions. Now, uh, we, we began with sexual immorality in general and the things that are happening in colleges and, and the types of, you know, the immoral activities that are going on. We spoke about homosexuality, we spoke about masturbation, we spoke about, you know, sponsors. Mm -hmm. um, did you speak about slay queens? I can't remember, but I think yeah. there is a sponsor <laughs> yeah. a slay queen somewhere around. around yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah, so these are, if you still don't understand, these are the things we are dealing with today. Mm. And, and actually, like the recent cases we have seen, uh, Reverend, you see young girls and even men, young people, that are being killed because of relationships in college. Yeah. So this sexual thing has gone now beyond the sexual place yeah. to a place where people are losing our, uh, their lives. Yes, yes. So what's possibly happening in your case? I want to say this, mm -hmm. um, right from Genesis, Yes. it's very obvious that God had a good plan for man mm -hmm. when he created man in his own image. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the enemy of God mm -hmm. is out there to fight the purpose of God in every human being. Yeah. And that is why he comes with every kind of trap. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, we see the enemy of God approaching Eve and enticing her yeah. to eat of the fruit yeah. that had been forgiven. And notice that the enemy did not pick the fruit for Eve. Mm -hmm. It is Eve that picked the fruit himself. Yeah. I want to uh, uh, read a scripture in the book of Proverbs, mm -hmm. chapter number 9, yeah. verse 17 to 18, mm -hmm. that says, mm -hmm. Stolen waters are sweet, yeah. and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. Mm -hmm. But he does not know that the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of the hell. Yeah. Other, other versions say, By Tlutlu do they know that the dead are therein, that her guests are in the depths of the grave. Mm -hmm. So you see, the devil, who is the enemy of God, yeah. he comes with ways in which to trap people. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, this word says, mm -hmm. stolen waters yeah. are sweet. Mm -hmm. Are sweet. Yeah. When they are doing it, they think it is a sweet thing they are doing, mm -hmm. but the Bible says, little do they know yeah. that there is dead in there. There is consequences. There, there is, is consequences in there. Yeah. So, 
Sexual sin or mm -hmm. sexual immorality is a sin yeah. that is always done in secret. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is about stealing. Yeah. Stealing. <laughs> it's about stealing. <laughs> You're stealing goods, you should not be stealing. Yeah. You are stealing goods, you should not be stealing. <laughs> okay, you are laughing, but it's actually not a laughing matter. <laughs> These are very serious things. And let's talk about the upbringing of the kids. Because, you know, uh, you, by the way, you know, uh, Cynthia, we are in those days uh, where um, uh, it's very hard. Okay, I'm not saying they are not there. But the percentage of virgin girls and men, I don't want to just say girls, even men, they're supposed to be virgins. Sure. I think that rate has gone almost to non-existence. It's yeah. there, but the percentage is very, very low. So, and you know, we have parents today, like we had parents those days. Those days where everybody, every girl grew up as a virgin and they were very proud about it. Actually today, if you, I don't know about your college, but I think if you say you're a virgin in college today, they will How laugh. People <laughs> <laughs> uh. They will laugh. <laughs> Why would they laugh at you? They know it's a lie. <laughs> they know it's a lie. <laughs> or oh, you're foolish. Yeah, they'll even call you names like they'll say you're stupid, you yeah. don't know, like mm. the new technology, the new generation believe that yeah. sex is anything, it's just like <laughs> drinking water. Why? Yeah, mm. it's mm. just like drinking water. So when you tell them you're a virgin, they'll ask you like you've never done sex. <laughs> we do it all the time. It's oh, no oh. big deal. Mm. So it's rather if you're a virgin you just keep it to yourself because it'll be a laughing matter in school oh god yes mm. so now tell us Kirao, how do we come back now i know you're, you're a parent not yet not yet also oh, he's very he's an <laughs> eligible bachelor but now how do we me i'm a parent reverend here is a parent mm. how do we get back to that place where we're bringing up our children to embrace that you know growing up in purity because i think if you're going to have any solution we have to go back home from where we have come from you know yeah. and uh, sometimes uh, I know we have all, all these issues and comments about parents are not absent the economy is moving very fast parents have to work and I understand all that but there is a way that we can bring up children in a God-fearing way how do we do it if we can borrow a leaf from you even if you don't have kids <laughs> <laughs> because you're a child yourself. tell us what should yes. we do yeah <clears throat> now I can say this yeah. about bringing up a child. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes, the information yeah. I have gotten from the internet, I have studied some books. Yeah. Now, I can say this. Uh -huh. In those olden days, you used to bring up children yeah. in a way that they could fear God. Yeah. They knew what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. You were telling them. Yeah. But I am got into a case like uh, last time we were having a show in, I bought it from Inspector Mwala. Yeah. They were having a case uh -huh. where the dad have been leaping the kid okay inside her bedroom that's now not funny go god mm. now yeah. they were having that case in yes. the citizen so they uh -huh. were showing how it is and that is real mm. so yeah and that guy decided one day uh -huh. they have a new botch so okay. the guy decided to change the bed uh -huh. so the botch was found in the other bed and there now the girl has shifted to the uh -huh. it is a double decker so yeah. the girl went up the botch is sleeping here <laughs> so the dad so, just came yeah as, as usual normal. yeah so she can he comes in and when he, uh, he tries to uh, to touch that botch, yeah. the botch makes the noise or screams. Yeah. Now the mother comes in, and now the daughter is telling the mother, I wanted to tell you, but you are not giving me some time. Okay. So now, mm -hmm. this is the parent, Yeah. and this is the kid. The parent who is supposed to protect the kid. Yeah. yeah. Now look at what is going to this far. Mm -hmm. But I believe this, we yeah. can still go back. Yeah. We can still bring up a child that who believe in us. Mm -hmm. You know, we have that kid who says that my dad is everything. Yeah, yeah. That he can protect me from anything. Yeah. So I believe we should go back there, yeah. ask from advice from our pastors. Mm -hmm. Let us be able to be there. Even if you are not there, maybe you are working from Monday to Saturday. Yeah. That on Sunday, have at least two hours, three hours with your kid yeah. before you go to church. Mm -hmm. Give them, show them the way to tithe. Yeah. Be the one to give them sadaka to take to church. Mm -hmm. Show mm -hmm. them the way. Yeah. Take them to the Sunday school teachers. Let sure. them be taught. Mm -hmm. And also when you have time, speak to them. And yeah. speak to them real matters. Yeah. Tell them, do not tell them to run away from the gate man. Yeah. Tell them the reason why they should not <laughs> attract the gate man into the home when the parents are not there. Yeah. Do not tell them to run away from the boat yeah. if he is a kid. No. Yeah. Tell him these are the dangers mm -hmm. of having an affair with him. All right. All right. So... 
I do we, we should go back yeah. there. To that. I want I, to add something. Yes. That uh, the first role model of a child is the parent. That's very key. The first role model of a child is a parent. Is a parent. Yeah. Because ch children learn more from their parents. Okay. So when their parents are not teaching them the right things mm -hmm. from the beginning, yeah. then these children will not grow in the right way. Mm -hmm. In the end, they will t try to find other teachers, yeah. other mentors, mm -hmm. who will mentor them wrongly. Yeah. I have seen cases whereby, like Rago is saying, mm -hmm. a parent, a yeah. father, mm -hmm. is raping her yeah. own daughter. Yeah. How do you do that? How and her mother knows. Yeah. And the mother... Can't He's talk? protecting the husband. Ah, no. How do you protect somebody like that? You yes. know, they believe my husband is always right. He can never do anything to the child because the child is the same blood as the man. So he knows, she, the mother knows my husband cannot do that. Even though the child comes and tries to explain it to her, yeah. she won't believe him because she'll say, well, when in total, hujuiki, hujuiki tu, ama hujuiki ni unasema. So yeah. the mother just assumes don't you think this is like a mind bewitchment because even if okay i'm married uh i'm trying to think my daughter comes to me and tells me this is happening no matter how much i trust my husband i owe my daughter that thought let me just find out what she's saying there is no way a child will just accuse the father of something so grave like that so i think mothers out there fathers out there please listen to your children actually sometimes the kids may not talk but there are some characteristics you're going to see in a child mm. yeah that will tell you something is very wrong maybe they're withdrawn yeah or maybe they just don't like the male gender if they yeah. are girls or if they're boys they don't like the female gender because they are already being abused because let me tell you something you know there is no good thing about uh you know a man thinking that when you have sex with a child they are enjoying it is demonic it is evil it is bad you should be arrested like yesterday so uh, so these things are happening from our homes before they get to college before mm. they get to killing each other in yeah. universities yeah. Yeah. these sexual altars actually let, let us call them sexual altars because that is what they are mm. they began from the home yeah, they sure. began from the home. Yeah. Even all the cases that you have heard mm -hmm. recently, yeah. whereby they have been involved dead, mm -hmm. where uh, some of the people are killed, the yeah. daughters were killed. Mm -hmm. When you follow it very clearly, yeah. you find that mm -hmm. the parents knew about these cases. Aye. What's yeah. wrong with us? You see, yeah. the parent mm -hmm. knows. Yeah that her daughter mm -hmm. is in school mm -hmm. and he doesn't pay for fees yeah. another man is paying for the school fees of that daughter in quotes as a husband Unafikiri natoka wapi? By the way. Na hainyeshi kutoka juu. If the girl anakuja home, amevaa smart, you know, anakuja na shopping elfu kumi mama, uliza, umetoa wapi? Because I think that that's actually the truth. Yes. Because it's like, uh, you're talking the truth. Sometimes you find parents, uh, because of course they need help in one way or another. So when they realize my girl has potential to bring in the help, mm -hmm. I'll take it and I don't care where it's coming from. You yeah. see, I've been brought up from a very humble background. Okay, yeah. When I say humble, you understand. Yeah. With very poor family. Mm -hmm. And my father was yes. very tough. <coughs> mm -hmm. Even if you collected a pencil on the road <laughs> yeah. and you came with it home, you yeah. will call it battle. Uh -huh. You will call it pigwa, baka mama analia. Wow, baka mama analia. analia. You will call it battle. You will call it battle. <laughs> now you are caught. You will call it pigwa. So right. we grew up knowing it's not right to take anything that does not belong to you. Something Even you have today. not worked for? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and it's actually very sad, Kerago, because you realize um, today most young people, once they leave their parents' home, that is when you know when you finish from four, you're almost out because once yeah. you're in college, yeah. you are kind of independent. Yeah. And because in colleges, most of them get bursaries. Yeah. But you know, if you look at this bursary, the bursary does not necessarily take care of all the beautiful things we see the students with. Yeah. Mm. So where are the extras coming from? Yeah. And no parents care to really dig and know. Yeah. Yes, you know, mm -hmm. like now I can quote something. Yeah. I've been attending the marriage counseling. Mm 
All because right. I'm almost there. Oh, you're almost there. Thank so, you. When is the wedding? <laughs> we are going to update you soon. <laughs> now, yeah. the, uh, a certain pastor told us that, uh -huh. you young man, yeah. stop pretending that you have a lot of money. Okay. We have men who have money in this country. <laughs> yeah. That's but, the truth. But now you, <laughs> like me, <laughs> I'm just taking, like now I give an example. Yeah. I take Cynthia from her home mm -hmm. and now I take her to college. Okay. And then I pay her school fees. Yes. Because I know that at last that she'll be get married to me. Right. Mm -hmm. Now get to this incident that after taking her for college for two years, yeah. I pay all that money. Uh -huh. Then she tells me that she does not want me. What will happen? <laughs> so, from the biblical side or from the Christian way, yeah. young man out there, mm -hmm. stop pretending that you have money. Yeah, if you don't, you don't. You don't. Yeah. And if you have, yeah. if you want to help, yeah. help uh -huh. without expecting something back. Mm. That is very, very important. But the yeah. people who are doing like cases like we had in Eldoret, mm -hmm. these are the people who are giving, expecting that after a year, the girl comes to be my wife. Is that transaction actually? Yeah. yeah. So all cases, yeah. Yeah. they have strings attached. attached. Yeah. Yes. But also I need our boys to learn this. Tell us. That they are not their parents. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Come on, Kama mmekushaishi na yeye ndiye ni malani yeye. Yeah. Yes. Lakini ati msomeshen ni utawa yeye. Wewe ni mzazi wa nani? Wewe ni mzazi wa nani? Nani alikufanya mzazi kijana? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That one is good. <laughs> At least invest on something. Yeah. Or first of all, yeah. you marry the, the, the daughter, uh -huh. you take her home. Yes. Then at that point, you can now you discuss can take her to as a husband and wife. Yeah. But I am having a problem. Like I have a case that I can know yeah. that it, there is only one, uh -huh. one thing that connects the two guys. Yeah. Commitment. Okay. I will marry you after yeah. college. Yes. Now I'm pumping all my money to this lady. Yeah. Just because of a commitment. A word of mouth. Just wait. So you, I want to believe you're engaged now because you, you are telling us you're getting married. Yeah. So you're telling the young men out there, you don't pump everything into a relationship just because of the word of mouth. Ah, no. What should you do? Don't. Oh, you don't? Don't. And then you don't. I had your stand up. Okay. What do you do? You know, like now, Yeah. if you want to marry, yes. like now, I am encouraged. Yeah. I am now go going to be called a teacher by profession. Yeah. Now, I not go for that girl who is very down. And if I go for that one, yeah. I am prepared to find everything. Okay. If it's a wedding, Why I'm prepared. Why don't you want to go uh, with the, the girl who is down? You know, if I find love, I am not saying that we should not go there. <laughs> yeah. But if I find love to that one, <laughs> yeah. Mm. I go down there. Okay. But she does not expect me yeah. to take her from home to college <laughs> before I marry the lady. <laughs> All no. right. Yeah. First of all, we agree. Uh -huh. We go through the. Our pastor is here. Okay. He give us the guideline. Yes. You find a girl in church. Yeah. Meet the parent. Uh -huh. You are given a tradition. Yeah. So rather than start pumping money to college, start pumping money to pay the dowry. Okay. So that okay. Yeah. you go to the funding of the wedding. Yeah. Then you marry. Uh -huh. Then you go to the next point. Yeah. Like now, if you go to a working class already, yeah. now what do you expect? Mm -hmm. She have needs, mm -hmm. I have needs. Yeah. But we can come together and join. If you are going to fund the wedding, mm -hmm. we fund both of us. Yeah. Then we go next. That we, But it's not that I am staying in a single room, then I pay for her a double room in Akuru town. <laughs> But because we want to get married, sure, yeah. that will not work. Okay. Why? Me, I can also say. Yeah. <laughs> I can also say. Yeah. yeah. As for the men, also. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm a lady. Yeah. I have needs. Yeah. And then this guy comes. Yeah. And then this guy, a mejitole ya kudisi. Yeah. Is that a new idea? I want to refuse that. But that is the idea. There should not be any. Yeah. There should not. There nope. should not be any strings attached. Aki kusaidia, hey. na ronya upe, uh -huh. without strings attached. <laughs> yes. I'll say something. Yeah. We, we are talking about sexual immorality yes. in our education institutes. Yes. Now, in colleges, mm -hmm. especially in colleges, mm -hmm. there are people who are married mm -hmm. in colleges. Yeah. Both women and men, uh -huh. they come, uh, they are married. Yeah. But I have found that in the same colleges, mm -hmm. people who come married, like the ladies, they come, they are married. When they come to college, then they take other men in the college. Akija college, ajulikani ya meolewa. Your story and I'll home. Your story and I'll home. Sure. 
kwa sababu ule ule amemwa kule ni master rate kwa hapa hapa ametengeneza kucha diploma we are going to cannot pay for outing uh-huh. cannot pay but the one in college uh-huh. or the one now he is going to fight outside here mm-hmm. cannot be able to fight for that things wow. the one in home pay tuition <laughs> wow watu wachunge watu wachunge kwa sababu those are the sweet things the sweet mm. things are all in this yeah which is sweet yeah. and in there there is death Okay. That is where we find all these deaths come uh-huh. from. Wow. Now those of you watching us and you in college, uh, there is something the Reverend have said that has really touched me and I know that because it's true. Mm. We've seen so many people going to colleges and they left a spouse at home. Mm. But by the time they are finishing their diploma, their degree or whichever thing that you're pursuing, at the end of the day that marriage breaks mm. yeah. or it doesn't break but you now find that man or that woman have got another crazy affair somewhere yeah. so all these are all the evils you're talking about don't you know prioritize life if you're not sure um you you want to settle now don't go marrying somebody's girl and then go mess up in college or if you're in college and you're dating somebody who you can tell this one looks like they are married <laughs> <laughs> this one you know you will know yeah there is just a way it is very hard not to know i don't know about women but i think for men it is very easy to identify a married man utaona tu huyu is it actually less than was the big opas even the way they talk <laughs> yeah, you can just tell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna go on a short break, but when we come back now, we're gonna concentrate on the solutions because I think these are spiritual matters that we mm. need to handle spiritually. Yeah. So don't change the channel. Stay right there. We're gonna, you know, talk more on this. God bless you.